I've come all the way from Exeter to see the Eagle. Absolute living legend. I'm way excited. You can keep David Beckham we got Eddie the Eagle. Yeah, I want to say that he's the greatest man I ever know. You saw him in the bathroom roll and almost touched him. I almost touched him. <laughs> It was my dream to get to an Olympic Games and I made my dream come true. I was 22 when I started ski jumping, which is usually at an age when most jumpers are giving up. I looked at the ski jumps and thought, we've had lots of alpine skiers, cross-country skiers, biathlon skiers, but we've never had a jumper. And I thought, I've got to do something about that. I didn't have any funding for my ski jumping. I, I just did it through working with my dad as a builder and plasterer, saving up as much money as I could. <laughs> Equipment was very difficult. The, the first helmet I had, it didn't have a, a buckle. I used to tie it on with a piece of string. Yeah. Ski jumping was everything to me. Oh, brings back loads of memories. You're putting your skis on here. Getting ready. You're told to get onto the jump. Checking the binding. So I'll be checking that. Checking that. Keep checking. Making sure my gloves are on. And then the last thing, goggles down. And then I go. Wild. For me, getting to those Olympic Games was my gold medal. And it's, it's still amazing to me now that 26 years later, people still remember the name and still recognise the face. It was unbelievable. It was an amazing experience. After being away from ski jumping for such a long time, it's great to be back watching the celebrities jump. That was spectacular. What a jump! Yeah, <laughs> All the emotions have come flooding back, the adrenaline, the, the scariness, but also the excitement. Hey! Hey! Will the eagle fly again? Well, never say never. <laughs> oh! Do you know, I can really say that Alex and I have fallen in love with you a little bit I during this series. We I want, have. I want like a calendar or something, which yes, does sound, <laughs> which sounds it. a lot weirder now I've said it. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you're amazing, and there's so many amazing things in that VT. But the one thing I noticed is you used to put the goggles on over your glasses. Yes. So didn't it steam up? They did. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Half the jumps I did were I was blind when I had Are to you take kidding off. me? No, you couldn't see no. where you were landing. No, couldn't see. You, normally the air would flow through my goggles and it would clear my glasses, but probably three or four in every ten they didn't. And I was taking off and I couldn't see which way up I was, where the snow was, oh where I was gonna land. God. You know, <laughs> yeah. you've you've been such an inspiration for so many people and your story, you worked so hard to get someone, your gold medal was being at the Olympics. Yes. What would you like your lasting legacy to be? Then I got out there and did my best for my country and for my sport. Yeah. Yeah.